All right, what's up friends? It's your boy Mark McInerney in here with Music Mortgages and Life. Thanks a lot for tuning in. We're gonna keep this one kind of short. I'm gonna flip into, you know, normally I would be the guy that would say, hey, check this out, I got a freestyle for you. I got some cool things that I wanna share with you on what freestyle actually really looks like. Starting inside of music. Have you heard of this guy, Harry Mack? That could, I guess, potentially be my name if I was Harry, but no, I'm just Marco Mack. Harry Mack, he's got a freestyle out. Once you check this out, this guy is totally amazing. He's got one that is go goes for 10 hours. Talk about skills, my man, skills on the mic. Inside of mortgages, what about this as an idea? All of these commercial properties, no businesses in them. Empty office building, could it be a dream home? Ah, let's see what there's some places are considering. And lunar hotels, well, yeah, you know it's coming, right? So who will be the first? Let's talk about that too. Sit back, relax, three, two, one, off we go. Your back, give yourself a hand. You ain't got it, better do what you can. I see, we gotta make them understand. Boom. All right, so to pivot right into music, let me just talk about this cat here real quick. Harry Mack, write it down, get ready to look him up on YouTube. You're gonna be very impressed. This is totally a guy that is a freestyle rapper. This guy's been doing a lot of really cool things on the side of YouTube. He's got a pretty big audience. And what he does that is actually really cool is he will uh, perform a freestyle, get the mic going, start. I'm gonna show a little clip here and his audience will tune in live and start throwing in words inside of the chat area. And he just starts kind of taking those words and improv the sound of his, well, the, the flow of his lyrics to whatever is the sound that's playing in the background. So look, freestyle is a very, very difficult art form. One thing that most people don't understand, it is just straight live sparring. It's one of the coolest things that I've always enjoyed about hip hop music because to be able to to think off the top of your mind right there on the spot with the energy with uh, the nervousness and even while you're also being verbally attacked is uh, like I said is quite a skill set now without a doubt there's a lot of artists that'll write a lot of these really great lyrics down just burn them to memory and use those as like their weaponry when we go they go into these freestyle cipher ciphers but not this guy. I'm not sure it's even possible to be able to do considering the fact that he just says, okay, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look and share with you what I'm talking about here. Disappear right as I click every man, you know I'm here to mess and shit. Okay, okay, they fucking on my flow. Uh, but y'all know that's how it's gotta go. Hey, shouts out to my love and wife, the time on H Mac. Yo, I grab the mic and start bombing. Come off the tip, yo, I recently discovered the channel, and now I be the freestyle lover. Peace to my people out there in Miami. You came through just to blow your mind with the damn freak. Greatest in humanity. I got these rappers panicky, and every time I spit it off the tip, it's straight insanity. The transcendence of spirituality gets felt. I make the tracks just melt. I all right mic check okay right so <laughs> it's pretty slick so actually i plan to subscribe to him i've heard of this guy he's got a lot of really cool clips that just seem to kind of circulate the internet every now and then He's been walking down lines before and he's just calling out things that people is wearing. Like my man in the black shirt talking about music, mortgage, and life. Check out his wife. Da, 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 da. And he just does it with somebody walking around with a, a, a jam box that's got a tune going on and he just drops the drops the some pretty cold stuff. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed that. Take a, take a look at my man, Harry Mack. Hey, maybe go live, see if you can pepper him with some words and see how he can uh, become quite entertaining and sharing some of that stuff. So, all right, pivot right into mortgages from office buildings to dream homes. So maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't. There's a lot of commercial spaces because of what happened last year that are not going to be filling up the way that they used to with employees, there's malls, there's all kinds of different things because brick and mortar has less value the way that it did after what COVID has kind of shown us. Hey, well look, we can work virtually, we can do all these kind of things. This is a pivot inside of all things real estate, but also something to consider inside of commercial real estate. So. Leave it all to good old California to come up with some ideas to say, well, how can we not make these big commercial places an eyesore turning into, you know, just rundown buildings? 
it will be it'll be before time any some of them will, uh, before time that some of them will get bulldozed and maybe turned into something else but why not try to innovate right and yes there's some really cool things i'm gonna drop this article in there that says it hasn't passed yet but they are trying to pass through legislation suggesting as an idea and it's kind of more about zoning right you know because a lot of commercial properties are specifically zoned to be businesses versus to be residential but if they can overcome that hurdle well we could actually see some really cool real estate developments that aren't the normal way that we are used to seeing them now naturally a commercial building is a little bit more boxy and square so it could represent something a little bit more like uh, um, a high rise or or even you know like an, an apartment complex but keep in mind you know as i mentioned earlier some of these malls for example well malls have like a tremendous a lot of usability that is mixed use for um think of like common grounds right a little bit like condominiums so how cool would that be to be able to live inside of a mall have the amenities of what are malls plus mixed retail if that would come back in as an idea and then that is a way to kind of solve some of these uh, vacant real estate spots and potentially help to solve some of the inventory shortages that we have because God knows the builders can't build fast enough and people aren't selling their houses fast enough to meet the demand. So not a bad idea as my wife would say, uh-huh, there we go, there we go. And last but not least, Lunar Hotels. This is where you insert evil laugh now <laughs> yeah that's right well you know like it's the latest thing right like the race to space the race to the moon the race to mars all of the biggest ballers on this planet are trying to leave yeah well the top two richest people number one bezos bezos got out of amazon so he could fund a space project hmm sound familiar sound like some guy named like you know that rhymes with relon tusk yeah that guy elon musk he's already inside of that game right this is a guy from paypal to spaceships it's interesting to think that the biggest billionaires are not trying to stay on this planet i'm wondering why but who was thinking about this way way before check this out yes your boy hilton not Paris Hilton, not his daughter, but the father, Mr. Hilton. Back in 1967, he was already uh, coming up with these types of ideas. And you could clearly see, based off of the way that the graphic design is done here, that it was definitely some 40 plus years ago. But how cool is that, that that was already what they were contemplating and thinking really, really outside the box. I mean, goodness gracious, to think about this back in the 60s, well, of course, that would have been largely um, influenced by the race to space back then in the 60s when JFK was president and it was kind of, you know, the, the U.S. first, uh, Russians and China, you know, kind of getting up to space. Who's going to be the first to kind of orbit? Who was going to stay out there the longest? Who was going to get to the moon? Who was going to stand on the moon? All of that different stuff. So be very interesting to see what then becomes because it's really not just two billionaires. There's actually a third billionaire, Sir Richard Branson, you know, who's like the head of uh, Virgin everything, right? Virgin Records, Virgin, uh, they they actually have some hotels and resorts and cruises, airlines, the whole nine. So we've already got three billionaires that are going to be investing, well, billions of dollars to try to see if this comes to comes to fruition. I put my money on that one of them certainly will, especially with the access to technology and the way that we are kind of meeting that point of singularity of where humans and technology and AI and robots and whatever, we're all going to be kind of the same. We'll be getting to space pretty soon, and I can promise you the way that I like to travel, once I'm done with Earth, I'll be checking out and see what the moon and Mars looks like. God allowing if I'm along, alive long enough. All right, look, I greatly appreciate you tuning in. Have a great and powerful week. We'll see you next week as well. Peace, one, love, I'm out. Pat your back, give yourself a hand. You ain't got it, better do what you can. See, we gotta make them understand